So if you did not watch the last video, I went ahead and I explained how my 2022 season went. First year back into the lawn industry after, after being in the corporate world for about five to six years in sales. So in March of 2022, I decided I was gonna leave the corporate world and I wanted to come back to what I loved, which was talking to customers and starting a lawn company. I have so many years just invested in the lawn care industry. So many things that I tried and so many things that I failed at, so many things that I learned. Um, one of those things I learned was how to obtain a customer and the best ways to do it. So in the last video, I went over my 2022 season. I didn't even know I was going to actually quit the corporate world until March of 2022. And that's pretty scary because I didn't have any equipment. I didn't have any customers. And some people were, were looking at me like I'm a little bit crazy. The one thing that I do know, I do know lawn care. I do know the lawn, lawn care industry. And I do know how to gain customers. And so this video is really for, for you guys starting out. Um, how to gain customers. Even somebody that's had a lawn care for a little bit um, and it's grown substantially. Um, this might help as well. But this is, this is some of the things that I learned on how to gain customers and how to gain them fairly quickly. If you want to start a lawn company this year, this could still work for you. So what a lot of guys like to do starting out is they like to keep their, their normal job, the one that creates the income, they can pay their bills, different things like that. They also have a, they, they want to start a lawn care on the side. And so they keep the lawn care on the side. It makes extra money for them. They can do it after work, on the weekends, uh, things like that. But there's a certain period of time where you have to either quit one job or quit the other job. Typically, if you're pretty good at what you do, your lawn care will start to grow. And a lot of these guys realize they love doing uh, lawn care. They start to learn a lot more about the industry as they're doing it on the side. And so my upbringing wasn't like that. I started mowing very young and gaining accounts slowly, getting better equipment slowly. And I went into a little bit of that on how I negotiated, how I actually you know, look for deals, how I negotiate, what I looked for, things like that. But this video is really about how to obtain customers and how I and how I obtain customers. So what I want to go over in this video is how to get customers, how to get customers within the vicinity that you're at, so that you're not driving all over the place, and also the best strategies on advertising, marketing, and things like that. March of 2022, I had zero customers. I had no trailer, no mowers, no commercial weed eaters, no blowers, nothing. And so I was scared. I, I was definitely blessed and a little bit of the knowledge that I had gained over the years helped me acquire a lot of my commercial equipment within a few weeks. So once you have the lawn equipment, the trailer, the mowers, everything, how do you, how do you get the customers? And how do you get the customers that are going to be most profitable for you. The ones that are gonna be in the area that you work in and not ones that are 30 or 40 minutes away. So I wanna talk a little bit about routes as well and route density and how that affects the profitability of your first year especially. And a lot of times first year, your route density is not great. So in 2022, in my first year back in, my route density was terrible. In the last video, I did go ahead and discuss all the different things that happened in 2022 and how I had to end up actually selling my client base. So I think it was a blessing in disguise because now this year, I have a new strategy that I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over the strategy I used last year. If you're looking to go ahead and just gain a whole bunch of customers very quickly, I'm gonna go over what I did to get about 30 to 40 customers in one month. I'm also gonna go over what I'm gonna do this year. Now that I'm starting back again at zero customers, I do have lawn care equipment and trailer and everything, but I, I started, I'm starting back at zero because I had to sell my customers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna tell you how I'm gonna go about doing it this year, which might be a little bit different than last year, so that I can try and get that route density a lot smaller so that I can get a lot more lawns around where I'm at within a five mile radius of where I'm at so that I can get 
to lawns quicker so that I can do more lawns in a day and be more profitable in the end. So that's what this video is gonna cover. Once I got all of my equipment last year, um, it was time to start focusing in on getting customers. Now I did have one friend that I had mowed for back when I had a lawn company and they were looking for somebody. So I already had my first lawn customer in 2022. And a lot of times that's what you need. Sometimes you need to just get that first customer and it, just, it gives you just kind of a push. And all of a sudden you're like, okay, I got one on the board and now let's get the rest. And, and that's how I felt. Um, I did go ahead and make a website with Wix. Making the website with Wix is one thing I would suggest doing, especially in, in today's age. And especially if you want to try and keep a lot of your lawn customers local. When they Google and look for lawn care companies near them, your name's going to come up and they're going to call you. Now, I, I spent a couple of hours, I, I had never made a website before. Wix made making a website fun and you had, to, you had to figure things out along the way and, and there's a lot of things that you can go and, and do with Wix but to just go ahead and start somewhere Wix was the perfect place for me to start a website so that anybody that heard my name could actually go to a website and see that I'm legitimate and in today's day and age I think that's something that is very important now if you're younger if you're 13 14 15 years old I wouldn't say that that's something that you need to do right off the bat, um, but since I had been in the industry for a long time, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and use a, you know, a couple of my extra dollars and go ahead and look a little bit more legitimate with a website. And so that helped out a little bit. So you can check that, check it out. I made it myself. I only spent a couple hours on it. I've kind of gone over the website part of it. So one of the cool things about the website with Wix is just this year about a week actually just about a week ago i changed a couple of things because i haven't touched the website i i set it up in about two hours just to kind of be legitimate so that when it, when i came up on google business which is another thing you, you might want to go ahead and set up is a, set up a google business account so that when people look for you you'll have a google business site and so they'll when they search for you um wix if as long as you put an address in there Anybody that's searching for lawn care closest to me, your website will come up. And that is very helpful. Now, one thing I just did this last week was I made it to where there's a chat, there's a, there's a chat feature on the website itself, on Wix. Now, what that does is, is that that allows people to just click on chat and they can ask you a question and it'll go directly to your phone app that you have downloaded, your Wix app. And so I was able to last year communicate with people and answer questions and do things like that and it was very simple and so what I changed a week ago was I changed that when somebody got onto my website I had the chat feature pop up automatically with just the introductory uh, thanks for visiting vibrant lawns um, if you want a free estimate go ahead and leave your address and my software will be able to go ahead and detect how large your lawn is and I'll give you a free free estimate. And then the very next morning I had somebody that had given me their address and I, I talked to them later that day. And that's gonna be for this year, I got zero customers so far, but for this year I added that feature to my website and the very next morning I had somebody that gave me their address. I was able to give them an estimate based on their the parameters of their lawn and I went ahead and sent that to them. Then I talked to them later on in the, in the day. So setting up a website for me took about two hours. Uh, it was just, I had some pictures of some lawn striping I had done, some mulch jobs, whatever it was. Just set up something um, so that you look like a legitimate company and that you've done this somewhat. Some people want to know that when they you know look you up that you have a website and you've got a phone number and things like that it just makes you look a little bit more professional um, but like I said if you're 12 13 14 15 you might not even don't even worry about the website at this point what I want to go over right now is how to actually obtain customers one of the fastest ways and this is what I did in 2022 when I needed to get customers within just a few weeks 
So the way that I gained customers in 22 was a way that is not probably very heavily suggested. But the thing is, is that I, I was under a crunch and I needed to get customers quickly to pro provide for my family, start bringing in money, get my name out there and start doing what I love doing, which is talking to people and cutting grass and, and just, just listening to different projects people might have for me. So one thing that I did that was the most helpful was I got on Facebook Marketplace. So, so what I did is I put in, in Marketplace on Facebook a, like a for sale ad and then put my company name and like a lawnmower and then I just put in um, a description and I'm going to try and show that to you right now. So if you guys saw that, that was, that was the main catalyst that got me so many customers in the first couple of weeks, just in, in the, the first couple of weeks of April. So what I did is I posted that a couple of different times um, and I got so many calls and messages and I had also linked, I believe, my website in there so I was also chatting with a lot of people as well and now I wasn't selling anything it was a service um, I'm not sure if Facebook looked down on that or not but the thing was it got my name out there very quickly and so the thing was I was able to gain 30 to 40 customers at least I was actually probably 40 customers through through posting in marketplace that I am a lawn company looking to fill up a client list and showing some pictures of how I stripe lawns, how I care about lawns. That was the way that I was able to gain at least 40 lawns within the first couple of weeks in April, just starting out. Now that was huge for me because the, the thing is is that I need to start making money because I made, a, I made a, a pretty rash decision to quit my job and Get, get the equipment, buy the equipment, and also try and get the customers just in March when I start when I needed to start mowing in April. Typically in the Midwest we start here April 1st. So that was a, that was a dangerous move, but sometimes you have to do, to do weird tactics like that. So that's what I did. I put up a few ads on the Facebook marketplace with some striping pictures. I have space basically for new clientele and I'm, I'm giving out free quotes. Now, another thing you might want to look into is yard books. So yard books, uh, I, w I wasn't quite with the times when I came back into the lawn care industry, but I was so glad to, to learn that there was a couple of different softwares like yard book that um, it's, there's free versions and there's also paid versions. I used the free version actually the entire time I mowed in 2022. So what it does is you can keep track of customers, you can invoice customers. So with Yardbooks it was so cool because I was able to add all my customers in there. You can keep track of every time you mow. Um, there's a, you can see what you need to do. You can see when something happened. And, and, and one, one cool feature was that you can get a customer to add a credit card, which is very nice because um, you can have them actually pay with a credit card and you can run that credit card after every mo. And that's actually what I did because I needed money now. So with the, the ad I put in Facebook Marketplace, I got about 40 customers that wanted me to work for them. Now. I had the option, uh, there's different payment options and things like that, um, which I want to go through with you guys, but there's also different ways of getting customers. And so um, I'm not saying that you need to spam Facebook Marketplace to get customers. Uh, I'm just saying that that's how it worked for me last year. Now what that did for me though is it created a route that I had uh, all over the place. Now, it wasn't like passing out flyers in your neighborhood like when I was a kid. It wasn't like um, advertising on, you know, just like a local 
Um, so if you have a little bit of extra dollars, sometimes you can actually locally advertise just in the Olathe area on like a Facebook ad or things like that. Um, when you're looking, when you're looking at expenses and saving money, especially starting out, some of those might not be options for you guys. And so what I'm telling you here is, is, is ways to actually get around the typical, you need to have this much money set aside for marketing to be successful. I, I believe in ads, I believe in paying for marketing, but the thing is, is that putting those ads on Facebook, Marketplace, they work for me. And then the only thing that was a little bit difficult about those customers were, were that they were all over the Johnson County area that I was in. There were, some of them were 20, 30 minutes away. But the one, the one good thing was is that I had all these customers. So I was busy, but it wasn't, it was not make, it wasn't as profitable as I wanted it to be. But at that point, the thing is I was just happy to have customers because having 40 customers, whether they be 12 minutes away or 20 minutes away this way, as long as you stay working all day long, as long as you, as long as you keep busy, you're gonna make money. And the thing is, is a lot of times when you're working in neighborhoods, you're gonna have people tap you on the shoulder. Is when you're mowing in a certain neighborhood, a lot of times you're gonna have people around you notice that you pull up. Um, when I first started mowing, I didn't really, I didn't think this, I didn't know this, but the truth is that people watch in the neighborhood, they look and they know what's going on. So this last year in 2022, I had at least 10 people tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, do you mind looking at my yard? Do you mind mowing it? Would you mind, do you have any availability? And I was like, of course I have availability, especially if it's in the neighborhood where you already have one lawn it's so simple because now you can mow both lawns at the same time and you're not wasting any more gas money, travel time, anything like that. And it's very profitable. So what happened last year was awesome in a way for me because once I had these customers, I had at least 10 customers additionally tap on my shoulder and ask if I could look at their lawn. And I ended up getting about eight of those. So, tip, so typically somebody tapping me on the shoulder when I have headphones on and I'm edging or, or trimming or, or whatever it might be, it scares me. But I, I kind of got used to it after a little bit, you know. First time I was kind of like, whoa, you know. But I guess in 2022, there was a lot of these larger companies that just canceled on their smaller clients. So I asked around a little bit in the industry and I guess there was a, a shortage of workers. People were not showing up for work. So a lot of these larger companies, what they were doing is if, if they had just a, a solo house that they mowed in one neighborhood, they would just cancel on them and they wouldn't even let them know. They just canceled on them. But if they had you know three or four or five lawns in the same area, they would keep those. And it kind of makes sense if you're in business you're gonna keep the ones that are closer, more profitable, less driving distance. You can get your guys on there and off there quicker. But the thing was is that they weren't even telling the the customers that were maybe just five minutes away, but only one in a neighborhood, that they weren't able to mow for them anymore. I had one lady tell me that she had three lawn companies come. They mowed once, never showed up. Another one came once, never showed up again. And then another one came and never showed up again. And this was just at the beginning of May. I was like, <laughs> I was blown away. But the thing was, I also was blessed because the thing was, it was sad that these customers were getting canceled on, especially without even being told that, that they needed to find another lawn company. But I was blessed in the fact that I, I was able to bump into them and they were able to run into me and I was able to, to get them taken care of. And so, that helped out a lot. Now that was nothing I did strategically at all, except that I had already set up that Facebook marketplace, which set me up in that, that neighborhood and ultimately set me up for uh, an, an additional client at that time. Those are the three ways last year that I was able to gain 40 customers within just several weeks in April. And that was through the Facebook marketplace ad. and getting a website where I could chat with people and it come directly to me the instant they chatted with me 
And also the people tapping on my shoulder asking if I could also mow as well. So yard book really helped out a lot in, in different aspects of being able to keep track of people, um, be able to run credit cards um, and things like that. And I, I'll go into yard books a little bit more later. I will, I'll say this, it was very easy to use as my first year back in. And if you know anything about computers, it's very user friendly. And so I really would suggest using it. So hopefully guys, that helps you guys um, just starting out or if, you, if you're looking to expand or whatever it might be, those were some things that I did. So the things I'm, I'm looking to change here in 2023, based on the way I got customers last year is gonna be different. Because the way I got customers last year, it really saved me. But again, my route density, it, my route was all over the place. And so what I'm looking to do this year is to try and get customers within a five mile radius to me. Now, that sounds like a huge ask, and I think it might be, but the thing is, is that I've had experience door knocking, uh, which is no easy sale. I've actually door knocked for my own lawn company as well when I was younger. I, I can easily talk to people, and it's a lot easier talking to people about lawn care and something that you're passionate about. So some of the ways that I'm gonna actually change the way that I approach gaining customers here in 2023 is I'm gonna do a little bit more door knocking. I'm gonna do a little bit more um, strategic things I'm gonna go through here just real quickly with you guys. So I don't wanna to take too much of your time, but the thing is is that if you want customers that are gonna be more within a five mile radius of you guys, um, then I would do things more this way. And the reason why I wanna do that is, again, more profitability, um, it's easier on your vehicles, you get to the next job faster, so at the end of the day, You've done more work, which equals more money. Um, you've spent much, uh, you spent much less on gas, things like that, and also wear and tear on your vehicle. And if you don't remember, I, I seized an engine up, and that was the reason why I had to sell my customers. So, what I want to do is I want to try and get a customer base that is within about five miles of me. Now, I understand that the word's going to get out there, and word of mouth it just happens. And the thing is that I'm going to get suggested to go to Overland Park, which is about 15 minutes away here or there. The thing is, I'm not gonna turn them down either. The thing is, I'm gonna take everything I can get and grow as much as I can. But what I wanna start out doing is, this is, a, this is a card that I made. Now, you see this, this card right here. This card is not necessarily your average business card. It has my logo, my name, just owner operator, and, and it has a huge space there for just a, where you can take an actual pen, Sharpie, whatever you guys want to do, and actually physically write down a quote, something that they can know for a fact this is what they're going to have to pay. The one thing that I'll say is that I've tried door hangers. Um, growing up, I tried door hangers in the past. I've tried flyers. I've tried actually knocking on doors and handing people flyers. I'm not saying that those things don't work because I think with the rule of numbers, if you pass out 2,000 flyers, you're gonna you're gonna get some calls. One thing that I noticed that people at the door want to know the most is they want to see a price, and they won't they won't really ask you that at the door because a lot of times they just think the price is gonna be out there. So a lot of times these people at the door when I'm knocking on doors they're not gonna ask you for a quote right then I mean some might but the majority of them just kinda wanna get rid of you that's the strategy that I'm gonna use with my door knocking experience and things like that um, I realize people just wanna get rid of you at the door and so I'm gonna use that to my advantage this year by using cards like this that just have my business name my, my name my phone number and also a huge blank spot down there where you can physically write in how much you want to quote that yard for, how much they're actually going to pay each week. That way they can see it right when you're talking to them. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to go as quickly as possible. And the thing is, like I said, most people, when you, when you knock on their door, they just want to get rid of you. And the thing is, is that I'm going to act like I just want to leave too. Unless they want to talk, and then I'll, then I'll talk to them. But that's going to be my, my strategy this year. That's what it's going to be, is I'm going to write things down like this. $35. Now, a lot of you 
a lot of you old timers out there, a lot of you guys that have large companies, you'd be like $35. I wouldn't lower the gate for $35. I hear that a lot. The thing is, is that when you're first starting out, it's not to be cheap. You have to know your worth. But at the same time, you have to realize is that $35, if it's a mile from your house, I would rather mow a yard for $35 then have a $45 lawn that's 10 or 12 minutes away. Because guess what, after I'm done mowing that yard, I can get right onto the next one, which hopefully is not that far away and in the same neighborhood. So that's gonna be my strategy this year, is going to be trying to pass out as many of these as I can in the five mile radius that I have. And I actually am in an area that has just been built up around me with new homes all around me so this is actually a pretty good strategy i'm going to try i'm going to let you know how it goes another thing i'm going to also try and i've already done it was get on the app next door so get on next door and make a post i now there's there's ads that you can buy as a business on there as well i haven't gone that far i'm, I'm trying to make your marketing budget zero dollars except maybe some cards maybe some pen ink, and maybe some, some walking around a little bit of labor. With that marketing budget being as low as possible, I would also just suggest something I did just uh, about two days ago, is get on the app called Nextdoor, and just, if you don't have a profile, just make a profile, put a picture up, make sure you put a picture up of yourself, make it look, make it look good, don't have a gun in it, and don't look crazy, okay? because you, you want to be representing your company. So um, there are ways on Nextdoor app where you can pay for an ad and things like that. We're not there yet. So what I did was just personally in my neighborhood, I wanted it to be shared around the area I'm in. And I just posted just, just something fairly easy. Hey, I've been in, in the industry this long, I'm looking for new lawn clients. Um, let me know if you guys have a you know want a free estimate and I've already gotten two responses in the, and that's just been about two days and so that could potentially be two new customers so always look for those those things you don't have to have a, a 500 or 1200 or five thousand dollar budget for marketing just starting out um, I would actually spend that on good equipment so guys I hope that helps you guys out and I'll let you guys know how my new strategy this year is going to be with trying to keep my customer base a lot closer to home. Um, but again, if you're starting out, try that Facebook marketplace. Um, just try it out. See what you get. Um, if you need to just get off the ground and start moving and mowing, that's the perfect way to do it. Now, one thing, you know, with, with passing out these kind of cards, going door to door and just representing yourself. Um, I, I know a lot of people might be a little more shy or timid about that. You need to have that confidence that says, you know what, I'm not selling you anything. When using any kind of marketing tool, when using any kind of marketing tool, I've noticed a huge, a significant amount of return phone calls when there's an actual estimate or basically a price of how much they're going to have to pay on that piece of paper. They always, they, they might think that like services like this are gonna be way over their head. And when you show them, hey, you're in my neighborhood, I'm giving you a discount. Usually I don't charge this much, but for $35, I'll mow your yard weekly. I've been doing this for 20 years. I've, I use commercial equipment. Um, I'm, I'm in and out. I, I like to stripe lawns. I, I, I'm great at edging. Go ahead and check out my, my website and my reviews and things like that. Um, but that's how I would do it. Don't overthink door knocking, guys. So this is how I would do it. I would knock on the door and say, hey, my name is Matt. Just in the, I'm, I'm actually in your neighborhood and I own a lawn care company. I've owned, I, and I've been in this industry for about 20 years. Um, I wanted to just go ahead and drop this off for you today. Uh, it's just a, it's just, this is a quote. This is how much I would charge weekly for your lawn. Uh, now, whether you mow your own lawn or have a company or whatever it might be, I want you to keep this and just, and just if you guys go on vacation, if your mower breaks down, if you switch jobs and you have to, you know, switch your schedule up and you're, you're out of town, whatever it might be, I don't have a contract basis. I can come by and mow one or two times. 
And so keep this car just in case something happens. I mean, if anything, that's that's what that's what I've said to people before. Because a lot of people don't realize that like, they do go on vacations. Sometimes they go on two or three week long vacations. They've got nobody to take care of their grass. Now they do. And I've had customers that all of a sudden they realize for 35 or $40, uh, I don't have to mess with around with mowing the lawn. I can free that up with my family. So when people actually see a price that they can pay, all of a sudden they're like, well, that doesn't sound like much. So that's a huge factor in getting new customers is letting them know if you're gonna go door to door, give them a quote right then and there and make it really quick and easy. Again, if they say no, I, I have my own my own lawn care or I have my I my son likes to mow the lawn or whatever it is, be like, awesome. I love mowing lawns when I was younger as well and I, I took great pride in it. But you know what, go ahead and hold on to this in case you guys go on vacation. In case anything changes, let me know. I'll be glad to come over and take care of it for you guys. So that's going to be my strategy for the year 2023. I'm going to I'm going to keep you guys updated on how that goes and and how many customers I have at, at a certain point here in the next couple of weeks and how this is working out. Just because if this ain't working out, I'll let you guys know and then you can scrap it. But the thing is, is that I know going door to door works, and you have, you just need to have a, you just need to have a little bit of confidence in what you're doing, a little bit of pride pride in your work. Um, a lot of kids that I know, they, they do great jobs and they're awesome and they take a lot of pride in their work, but sometimes going door to door scares them. And the thing is, is that you need to kind of just develop that confidence and be like, you know what, I'm not here to sell you anything, I'm just here to, to talk to you. And, and when you get that in, inside of you, you can you realize that, you know what, you can talk to anybody. Now when I was going door to door for a cable company, the thing was, I, I didn't really stand behind the product, and it wasn't a product I was proud of. So that kind of lowered my confidence a little bit. I still made lots of sales, but the thing was, is it lowered my confidence. When it comes to lawn mowing and, and just and just things like that, the thing is, is that if they say no or whatever it is, just move on with a smile. The thing is, like you are there to help them out, okay? So I hope this, this helps you guys. And I hope you guys have an awesome 2023. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. But I'm going to go ahead and keep you updated on, on how many customers I'm getting using this method. And if I come up with anything else, I'll let you guys know.